Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on negative numbers. Negative numbers. We all understand what it means when we say our team scored five goals in a game of soccer. We understand what it means when we hear that a country won the cricket series 3 to 0. We know that we might need 20 metres of timber to build a garden bed. The numbers we are talking about can be represented on the number line as follows. So here we have a number line which starts at 0 and goes to the right. So we have 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc all the way along to the right. However, what does the number negative 5 mean? What is the meaning of negative 2? The above two questions are dealing with negative numbers. So what are negative numbers? In simple terms, a negative number is the opposite of a positive number. In real life, there are many examples where negative numbers are used. For example, the thermometer to the right shows a temperature reading of about minus 15 degrees Celsius. So if that's zero, that's about minus 5, minus 10, approximately minus 15. So that's very, very cold. So there's an example where a negative number is used in real life to show a very cold temperature. Another area where negative numbers are used is to show the height below sea level. So here we have sea level and we, here we have a type of vessel below sea level. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, that could refer to metres. We are able to deal with practical examples involving freezing temperatures and position below sea level. We just use the concept of negative numbers. So, negative numbers are the opposite of positive numbers and are less than zero. These can be represented on a number line, as we can see to the right. So here's the number line, there's zero. So all the numbers on this side are positive numbers, and the numbers on this left-hand side are negative numbers. And that's the origin, that's where zero is. On the above number line, negative one and plus one are exactly the same distance from zero. The same applies for negative three and plus three, negative four and plus four, and so on. That is the reason they are called opposites. With negative numbers, we need to show the negative sign. So any time we're dealing with a negative number, we must show that sign. With positive numbers, we do not need to show the positive sign. So we do not need. So you can just write 6 or 9 or 11. You don't have to write plus 6, plus 9 or plus 11 when you are dealing with positive numbers. Negative numbers are found to the left of zero on the number line. That is, they are less than zero. Positive numbers are found to the right of zero on the number line. That is, they are greater than zero. Graphing numbers on the number line. To graph numbers on the number line, just place a dot on the numbers to be graphed. Example one. Graph the following numbers on the number line, 1, 3 and 5. So we put a dot on 1, on 3 and on 5. So that rep represents a graph of those numbers. Example 2, graph the following numbers on the number line, negative 4, negative 2, 0 and 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0 and 6. Example 3, graph the first three even numbers greater than 0. Any number greater than 0 has to be to the right of 0. So the first even number greater than 0 is 2, the next one is 4, and the next one is 6.